So we are going to learn today how to install Docker in Windows 10 Pro. So over here, when I go to start and try for Docker desktop, so yeah. So when I try to open Docker, it says hardware assisted virtualization and data execution production must be enabled in BIOS. See uh, the documentation over here, right? So we are going to check on how to enable Docker and how to use Docker in uh, this scenario. So there is a link over here. And if you go to this link, what it um, says is that virtual machine platform and Windows subsystem for Linux, either these two should be enabled or um, you can use your Hyper-V as well, right over here, as you see. So let's uh, check on the Windows, uh, turn Windows feature on and off and let's see how we are doing there. So in Hyper-V, you can see that we don't have a tick. So when you expand it, you see that we have the Hyper-V platform in a disabled state, which you cannot click to select, right? You can choose the Hyper-V services and all, but Hyper-V hypervisor itself cannot be selected over here, right? Um, I have the virtual machine platform uh, to be checked and Windows subsystem for Linux is also checked over here. So uh, we are going to see in details how to resolve this problem. So in order to make the changes, you need to restart your PC. So we are restarting the PC over here and um, I am using a gigabyte motherboard and uh, it's a B450 I guess the model number and uh, I have a Ryzen 5 processor. So once you at the screen over here, you might have a different option than me in the BIOS to get into the BIOS settings. I have Dell. So you will get your options over here. So I press the Dell as mentioned over here. So once you press the Dell, you'll be inside your BIOS settings over here, right? If you're in the easy mode, which looks some, something like this, what you should do is you should click on classic over here on the top over here. And uh, once you click on classic, you will be in this screen. And in, in MIT, you need to uh, check the settings so what you need to do is you have to go to advanced frequency settings from there you have to go to advanced cpu core settings so you have to look out for svm mode which is in a disabled state for me so svm is the virtualization mode so we need to enable this so once you have done enabling it you can choose save and exit from the top and uh, over here you can just select save and exit setup so let's do a save and exit it will ask that save configuration and reset choose yes and your pc will be rebooted once again but this time you don't need to go into the settings anymore so you just wait for your pc to uh, boot normally So I'm just going to log into my PC over here. Let me switch over to the OBS studio so that you can check out better. So let's check the Windows feature on and off part first. So we have the Hyper-V over here. So you can see that now it has changed. I have the full Hyper-V that can be selected. So I can just select Hypervisor to on and click on OK and it will install some of the Windows feature over here. So this should uh, enable me to use uh, Docker now. It should not have a problem. So let's open Docker desktop and check. So you can see here that our error has gone. So it is telling us something else. It is uh, talking about WSL2 installation is complete. The WSL2 Linux kernel is now installed using a separate MSI update package. Please click the link and follow the instruction instruction to install the kernel update. Um, press restart after installing the um, Linux kernel. Right. So let's check it out. So um, what it says is download the Linux kernel update package. So we can download it from here we have the x64 installer over here we are going to download and install the same and then you need to use the powershell in order to run it and set it up so the download is complete so let's try it out so here is the installer just uh, we'll, we'll go by the wizard and we'll just finish the installation 
and uh, it says that uh, step 5 step w sl2 as your default version so we need to open partial and give this command over here and also we, we can install the linux distribution of our choice from u want to anything so we'll go over that so let, let's first uh, open powershell so let's first open powershell and um, put this command in place so we can install the powershell from here so let's open microsoft store and we can search for linux on windows or something like that or let's search for ubuntu ubuntu and uh, a bunch of options to choose from so i'll go with ubuntu and uh, we'll get this installed so just need to click on the get over here and click on install i don't know how much space it would take but uh, not anticipating something very high so it's around 453 mb so which is fair enough so let it get installed and then we need to restart the system once more in order to so we are not starting ubuntu at the moment though we have a launch option which will launch ubuntu over here So the installation is being completed at the moment here and uh, let's wait for the installation to complete so yeah it's asking for a username so i'll just put my name and uh, i'll put some dummy password for me and yeah we are done so ubuntu has been installed as you can see over here so let's do something to uh, get the full benefit of this let's do a restart of the system as recommended by docker and then we'll see from there so we are back to, we have just restarted the system so let's give a try to run docker so uh, let's complete the setup so, so that we are good so this time you can see that we don't have any problem so i'm going to sign into the docker for windows yeah i am logged in now so yeah we can just start and see over here so you will get to check few things over here i am just keeping the tutorial over here so let's run some command and see if we can pull some docker images right we are just going to jump over to the uh, to the console or command prompt so we are going to go to command prompt and we are going to see if docker is being recognized or not we can see that it's being recognized so what we are going to do is we are going to put uh, pull a dummy image called hello world and see if we are getting the image or not you can see that it started pulling the images right so yeah the image is here so when i do a docker images you can see that the image has been downloaded and uh, it's been created two months ago so we have one dummy image pulled in over here so let's uh, do a run and check if this image works so you can see over here that you get the message hello from docker so it means this is fine it was able to pull images and uh, yeah this is all about how you are going to resolve your virtualization problem in windows 10 pro and you are and how you can enable yourself in order to use docker and um, things like that right do let me know uh, if you have any questions or doubts this is also my first time setting up docker on windows previously i've done for mac and other OSs, but this one is first time for windows so your settings could vary from my settings to some extent uh, for, for me i am using a ryzen 5 over here and uh, my main board is b450m gigabytes right and uh, my processor is amd ryzen so your settings might be a slightly different but uh, overall it's the same thing that you need to look out for the same options that we saw over here and uh, that's how you're going to get the actual settings but more or less it's the same thing that we did so yeah that's all from this video do keep safe do Stay at home, take care of your family and stay safe once again. Bye-bye.